Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the new content day slash month. One thing I want to do is we now have kind of a, a unique multiple side quest. And you'll notice it's only good for seven days. So I wonder if, unlike the last ones, which were good for like 30 days, I wonder if they're just going to replace them. But we're going to jump into threat level five. Now, it's one energy per tile. But you'll notice that in the bottom right, it says begin quest with that item, which is also a little bit different. So maybe that limits how many entries you have per that item in your inventory. So keep in mind, because before you could just quit out and restart it as many times as you want. You just sacrifice a little bit of energy. But now, uh, in terms of the special, it says defeat the final boss with a class disadvantage. And the class boss, as you can see from the side quest date game episode one, is Rhino. And you can always double check by hitting that preview button. It's kind of a, a different map. It even has enemies that are uh, in question marks. And then you can see Rhino is the final boss. So we are going to jump in and I'm going to bring in for the class disadvantage Dr. Doom. And hopefully that helps. So I am going to start off. And you'll notice that there is uh, an incentive for each enemy that deals with an extra item, or you can just bypass them. But we're going to go and do the uh, hard path, I guess. You have a hard path and literally a no path. And the four nodes, foresight, intercepting the opponent's dash attack with a basic attack, grants the attack, or a passive fury. And then when the defender gains a region effect, they also gain a passive precision Every two seconds, a cruelty passive increases critical damage. And then all of the defender's attacks are guaranteed critical hits. This is disabled for 10 seconds if the attacker dodges or intercepts the defender. So intercepting is encouraged. And this is Old Man Logan. All right, so there is the intercept. And I'm just going to keep applying armor breaks and hopefully baiting his special. There we go. Pretty standard first fight. Nice thing is if you accidentally get hit and you've got Hercules, of course, that uh, that uh, actually gives you a extra feat of strength. But I'm going to try to not lose health and see what happens. Okay. Now it's time to bait that special too. And go right back in. Bait the special one. And even though he's at 53,669 PI and is indeed a seven star, which to me looks like a 12 star. There's so many stars they like fall off the screen. Pretty standard first fight. Now let's go to fight number two before 1756 star shards which you know is not nothing same nodes combo party endurance trial okay the defender reduces all incoming damage by 100% this damage reduction is reduced by 25% for each debuff on the defender max 0% pause all debuffs to the defender during their special attacks and then for every 10 hits on the combo meter attacker gains a permanent cruelty buff when struck the attacker loses all cruelty buffs so their combo meter is lost and takes 40% of the defender's attack as direct damage. Woo! And then Brutal Refresher, whenever the defender is knocked down, they gain a non-stacking Energized Pass. This looks like it could actually be kind of tough. But let's see. Gladiator Hulk, too. Woo. So I'm going to try to get that armor break on him. And that should allow me to do damage. And it does. Because it is indeed... A debuff, but you'll notice that did 2% damage. And Gladiator Hulk is also not the easiest champion to intercept. So I might be saving a special intercept. This is going to be a tough fight. They're wanting you to really earn those six star shards. All right, special intercept. Notice I almost pushed him to a special three. So I really need to back away. So it's not like the fight's been that hard, but I have not done a whole lot of damage. 
So I really need to just be patient. Obviously that there are champions out there who can do much more debuffs and I just got wrecked. Let's try a special intercept again. Yeah, this might actually be something that costs my uh, champ. By the way, I just tried to dash forward and I dashed back. First time the inputs have screwed me over here. Okay, now we're doing some damage though. Now we're doing some damage. So again, it's a pretty tedious fight, but it's not super difficult. Just watch that power meter and don't push him to a special three. And I'm just gonna let him come to me now and not risk anything else. Parry heavy, remember this is possible with the armor breaks only because I have the synergy with Cap Infinity War. So if you use Hercules and you're like, why did Prof get this? Sometimes I get that question in the comments. It's because my synergies. It's also another reason why I'm so thankful that I took Cap Infinity War up to max SIG. And who knows, maybe he'll be a rank five at some point. Okay, so that was, again, not a clean fight. I took five hits and I almost knocked me out. But I didn't have to use my Awakened ability yet. And I only have one more fight. And I'm not going to hopefully have to use uh, Hercules for the last fight because I'm wanting to knock down the boss and get that objective. All right, so special burst lockdown, parry vulnerability, feats of power, and supercharge. All right, let's um, see what happens. And this defender is Silver Surfer. Boy, look at that parry vulnerability. I feel like this is almost like a gift. Yeah, a huge gift compared to what we just went through with that Gladiator Hulk. So my takeaway is watch out for that guy. <laughs> Remember how it took us like 100 hits to get down that guy? Well, this is just a tad bit faster. All right, so I ended up being melted into my special, but that's okay. All right, so that was like 30 seconds <laughs> instead of three minutes. And there are the side quest crystal shards. Now let's jump into the boss. All right, here we have bleed vulnerability, which isn't going to help you with the class disadvantage. But if you have a, a mystic that causes bleed, mighty charge, watch out for that. And then every six seconds, the defender gains an unblockable charge, making their next attack unblockable. Unblockable charges are consumed whenever the defender attacks, regardless of whether the attack hits. Okay. So again, I'm using Doom. Is he starting out unblockable? No. But there's the Mighty Charge. When it's Mighty Charge, all I do is hold block. All right, there is the unblockable, but that's not a big deal. All right, Rhino is pretty easy to bait out specials. There's a Doom Slap. So he's going to be unblockable a lot. So I would keep your distance and just build up that power. I was thinking like one of the one of the champions that's mystic that causes a lot of bleeds for me is Symbiote Supreme. So Symbiote Supreme might be a good counter. All right, so I'm going to do a Doom rotation. We're going to skip this. Okay, that didn't last as long as I would have liked. Probably should have waited and fired that off when there was actually some uh, some power, but whatevs. Ooh. All right, I had to build up the power. So I'm actually going to use my built-up striker, Mr. Iron Fist. And you just, you know, you just continue the rotation. I think I'm going to fire off a special too after this. I'm going to do Doom, Slap, Beta Special 1, and then Fire Special 2. 
Not the best Doom rotation, I get it, but it, it gets the job done. All right, over 50% health gone. Kind of like the Gladiator Hulk fight. Not really a tough fight as long as you don't forget about the unblockable. It's just going to be a little bit of a chore. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant using her bleed could really help too. I was going to take her in, but then thought on paper Doom's going to do more damage. I kind of regret that now. All right, let's have him fire that special too. And I have a striker ready to go. And then now we do that. Yay. Still going to build up to that. Almost down to Assassin's range of health. And now we're under. And oof. first time I got wrecked by that all day. I do this thing. They say that you're like the the most common accident you have when you're a new driver especially is like less than a mile from your house. The most common uh, way I get knocked out from a fight is when there's less than 10% health on the defender because I just get cocky and I uh, lose my concentration and I take that for granted and then I get humbled. There are the rewards. We have a bonus tier two alpha gold and three-star relic crystal shards. Now let's just check real quick because we had our claim today and you'll see it's locked. So tomorrow, I assume I'll be able to go again, but there are the uh, bonuses for threat level five. And we also get a Valentine's Day card. I also got my uh, daily objective. So there you have it. And people are always complaining that I don't do enough gameplay. And then they complain that my gameplay is terrible. But hey, there's some gameplay for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.